Hi, I'm Vadim Elkind and I'm a filmmaker and freelance videographer and editor here at Vell Film Productions. I love being on set and when I'm not working on client projects, I really enjoy collaborating and working on creative media projects such as short films, music videos and independent features. One of the things I really enjoy is making behind the scenes videos, documenting my experiences on film sets and sharing what I've learned. That is what my new YouTube channel BTS Filmmaker is all about. So in this video, I will take you behind the scenes of a music video shoot for the Lost Caravan's song You Don't Know Me, directed by David Quakenbush and written by Lindsay Meredith. If you haven't seen the music video yet, be sure to click on the link in the description below and watch it before viewing the rest of this behind the scenes video. My official role in this project was a second AC and still photographer. But whenever I'm on the set and I have a few moments to spare, I also usually try to shoot some behind the scenes video. And most of the time it's with this little point and shoot camera. This is a Canon PowerShot SD780iS, which is an older model, I think it's from 2009, and honestly the video quality on it is not that great. It only shoots at 720p resolution and is really terrible in low light, it gets really grainy, but it's so small, it just fits into my pocket and I usually have it on me, I can carry it with me anywhere, and it's really convenient as opposed to carrying around a larger camera such as a DSLR. Anyway, I hope you enjoy this behind the scenes look at the making of You Don't Know Me, a music video by Lost Caravan. I have worked with David Quakenbush on a number of projects before, and I have a lot of respect for him as a filmmaker. Not to mention that working on David's sets is always a blast. So when David told me he was planning on directing a music video for The Lost Caravan, a local gypsy rock band, and asked me if I wanted to help out, I immediately said yes. I knew very little about the story elements of this music video going in, only that it had a little bit of a dark fairy tale vibe, and it involved a girl being chased by a mysterious figure wearing a black cape and a wolf mask. A large portion of the video was filmed at the Sherman Street Event Center in Denver, which is a really cool location. When I got to the set, I was quickly put to work on the camera team with the first AC Tim Nolte and the director of photography Laffrey Woodbrod. My duties mainly consisted of helping out with setting up the camera and camera support gear, helping Tim to switch lenses, and placing marks for the actors and the extras in each scene. I also operated the dolly on several shots. This music video was shot with a Sony FS700, with a variety of lenses ranging from Canon and Zeiss primes to vintage C-mount lenses. One thing that is nice about the Sony FS700 is that with the right adapter you can mount pretty much any kind of a lens on that camera. But don't get me started on the ergonomics. Seriously, who designed the placement of the LCD screen on this camera body? Anyway, it works pretty well for these types of projects, especially since we used an external monitor. While we were setting up, first AD Greg Nimmer gathered up all of the extras and explained to them what will be needed in the scene that we were about to shoot. The key thing is don't look down the barrel of this guy right here. So let's get it out of our system right now and just stare at it. Oh, stare, <laughs> stare at it. Look at it. It's beautiful. Excellent. Yeah, this is so gorgeous. Okay, never look at it again. Okay, you get it out of your system. As soon as we get to the point where you hear background action, that's when you definitely tune it out. Alright, place number one. Quiet on set! Background action, cue music! Once we got several takes of the dancers, it was time to move across the room and shoot the reverse angle of the band. For the opening and closing shots of the video, we had a Steadicam operator Dusty fly the camera through the opening double doors and toward the stage. 
Dusty had a full glide cam setup for the FS700, complete with a vest and an arm. In my opinion, this shot, although relatively brief in the final video, came out looking fantastic. And then it was time to shoot all of the chase scenes. Unfortunately, I don't have any video footage from this part of the shoot, because it was already getting late and we were pressed for time before we were gonna lose the location. But I did manage to take a few stills. It was a long, exhausting day. I was on set from about 11 a.m. until about 4 in the morning the following day. We shot all of the interiors first and then moved outside to shoot the exteriors and the climax of the video. By that time, everyone was extremely tired and a little loopy, but we were still having a great time. I should take a moment here and mention how incredibly amazing all of the cast and crew were on this project. Everyone did such a fantastic job and people worked together really well. I find that this is usually the case on David's shoots. He has this great organizational ability of bringing people together who are not just friendly, but also professional, supportive and incredibly passionate about what they do. It's like a big filmmaking family. For me, working on projects that David directs is always creatively energizing and inspiring. The next day felt surprisingly relaxing and mellow compared to the previous day's shoot. It was a gorgeous day and we were in a beautiful park location, filming the band performing their song. After the grueling 18-hour shoot the day before, it almost felt like it was a mini vacation. I feel like I should applaud every time you guys stop. For this scene, we set up a jib arm and used it for most of the shots that afternoon. Laffrey decided to utilize C-mount lenses for this part of the video, which are normally used on 16mm film cameras, closed-circuit television and microscopes. They produced an interesting, dreamlike image with very soft vignetting. By 6pm, we were wrapped. Working on the You Don't Know Me music video for Lost Caravan was probably one of the more enjoyable film set experiences for me this summer. I got to hang out with many of my filmmaking buddies and also met some fantastic new people. I also learned a few new things here and there, which is always a plus. For example, in several shots, Laffrey used a peculiar tripod setup with two heads mounted on top of each other in order to create a kind of a double dutch angle where the camera can tilt and pan at the same time. It's difficult to explain this effect and it's somewhat subtle in the video, but you can see it in several shots during the chase scenes. All right, cut there, thank you. Well, I hope you enjoyed this behind the scenes look at the making of You Don't Know Me a music video by Lost Caravan directed by David Quackenbush. If you liked it and you wish to see more similar BTS content, be sure to subscribe to the BTS Filmmaker YouTube channel and please leave your comments and questions below. Thanks!